So totally random, so totally random, so totally random. Hello there, YouTube. It's me, Tally. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back to do a video for you all. So, <clears throat> today's video is going to be about a random array of things that I don't even know. It's just, it's just a random thing. Okay, this is random. We're going to call this random. That's probably what we're going to call this random. Okay, so today, let's first let you guys know that I, um, being that I sew and stuff like that, I have other social type of websites, not websites, but um, sites that I frequent a lot, like crafters.org is the number one thing that I'm talking about, right? So it's called crafters.org, and there you use a community of those who craft anything from beauty products, um, like natural beauty products, like the homemade stuff. Everything is handmade. There's the craft website. So if you're really into crafts, like jewelry, um, sewing, knitting, crocheting, stuff like that, they have all that there. And it's just everyone is kind of like they post all their pictures, the things that they've done, and stuff like that. I'll probably put a link down below for you all so that you can see the, the site in which I'm talking about. But on this site, they have where you can do organized craft swaps. Swapping is a is like, I'm pretty sure everybody knows, but swapping is like where we all sign up to do one specific swap. Like the swap that I'm included in right now is the Make a Person Feel It swap. And I just got through finishing um, the Mug Rug swap. Mug Rug swap, that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit later. But let me just give you a little bit of information on about what swaps are. So everyone who's interested in that specific swap, like the Mug Rug swap for instance, they all um, sign up for the swap. The monitor of the swap, or the swap, excuse me, the swap organizer arranges everyone to go into their specific places. Like, you go with this person, and she'll go with her. So, they'll each person will get someone, and they'll swap, they'll craft for that person, and they'll also get crafted for from that person as well. So, this time I did the mug rug swap, like I was talking about, and I, um, I had two people. I had one young lady from Canada and another from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I, they haven't told me that they received their their mug rugs yet that I had quilted for them but I received mine today and I'm really really excited from the young lady from Canada and it came in this little package and it came with this cute little card it's supposed to symbolize me it's so adorable do you see that is so sweet right really cute I'm like oh she's trying to make it look like me kinda that's so cute and then um this is the mug rug okay so a mug rug is simply like a smaller type of placemat but it's specifically for like if you drink coffee or if you drink tea or whatever it is you have to have your cup of in the morning you sit it simply on the on the mug rug and then you just have your like danish or cookies or cake or whatever it is that you have to go with your beverage of the morning or what have you and it's also good for those who work or like yeah, who have like office jobs. These are really cute to have on your desk. You know, be sassy because you can be, this could be anything that you want. Anything. And I also make these as well. So check those out. Those will be on my website. Um, so this is my mug rug. And she she made this. This is all quilted by her. And you see how it has little hearts and all this stuff. And it's pink and lovely. And this gold down the middle. And she did little shoes. I thought that was so adorable. And it's just so cute. And if you look at the at the shirt, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Diva. And I have a shirt that had, looks just like that. And it's so funny. And I really like this, so I wanted to show you all about a little bit about that. And I just got it today, speaking of it. And I'm really excited. So, mug rugs will be on my website for people to purchase. I'll be making some of those. Um, so, this is just mug rugs. Like, that's what this is. So, moving on from mug rugs and crafting items, we're going to talk about a little bit about some books, right? Well, a book. So, you, being that you guys know that I'm back in school again, ooh, 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 um, you know, it's like, I have an English class. And I, so, we are reading a book. You know how they always give you these books to read. So, our book is called Half the Sky. This is called Half the Sky, Turning Opportunities um, turning, oh, excuse me, turning oppression into opportunities for women worldwide, right? So this is the book. This is what it looks like on the front cover. It's written by, um, Nicholas D. Kissoff, Krishnoff, Krishnoff, excuse me, and Cheryl D Wundu, Wundun, Wudun, 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 <laughs> Cheryl Wudun, right? 
And this book, I've only read the introduction so far because that's what we were supposed to do for homework. Today, I mean, for the weekend, we're supposed to read chapter one through two. So, I've read the introduction. Let's talk a little bit about the introduction because I'm going to kind of keep you guys a little bit informed about this book because I'm really interested about the book because at first I was just like, oh, turning oppression into opportunities for women worldwide. Oh. I'm like, maybe this might be a good book to en enrich me about women and, you know, giving us opportunities and stuff like that because I already know that us as women are oppressed and we always are looked down upon, especially in certain cultures. Women are seen as like... To me, the way they portray is scum of the earth. I'm not even going to lie to you. That it's like they portray women to just be so bad. But then when you think about it, why demean women when women are what makes the world go around? Because everyone comes from a woman. You can't have a male without having a woman. So I don't understand the whole logic behind certain cultures like seeing women as being submissive being very they look down upon women they oppress them they send them into pr prostitution like, it's weird and that's what this book talks about it talks about there's in the beginning chapter there's this lady named ruth no not ruth what's her name wrath i believe her name was wrath or ruth or something like that um sherry wrath and she Oh my gosh, she has a story slash testimony to for anybody that I have ever met. I have never met her. Long story short, she was sold into prostitution um, thinking that she was going to a different... She was from Cambodia, and went to Thailand, thought she was getting a good job so she could be able to afford life for herself and make just making a better chance for herself out of life. And she got sold into prostitution, worked at a brothel, eventually um got away and then went to the police station and do you know the police arrested her for immigration and then after she got her got after she served her year in prison she was sold back in a prostitution because the man who she thought was going to be taking her home was actually taking her to a brothel so that she could be sold again I just felt so, like, I could tell that this book is going to be heart-wrenching. And that's why I'm coming on here to tell you all about this book. Because it's really interesting to me. And if you have time to read it, I would say read it. For so far, I'm getting, like, a lot about just women in general. And in the, reading this book, do you know, oh, I know in China that they have a lot of, um, hatred towards women or ch towards girl children. And they don't want you to have girls. I, I learned this when I was in high school as well. But it's just like confirmation when you get to college and you start reading these books. And they're really expressing like this is a really big issue. And in, in, the, in one fact that I found in the book in reading an introduction was that over 100 million girls are missing worldwide a year. And no one says nothing. Like they just disappear. These babies disappear and no one knows where they are. Like... Isn't this something that we should want to take part in? I, I would think that this would be a major issue that would be going around. Just people disappearing. Babies disappearing. I, I just don't get it. And girl babies. I don't understand why does... And then they seek the son as being of hierarchy. Because he's the male in the family. And he's lifted up more because he is more susceptible to going off. And he'll leave the family name. And they only want boys. They don't want girls. And that's just, that's heart-wrenching to me. So I had to retract what I was thinking one time because I had, I was feeling some type of way one day. And I was just like, I don't even want to be a girl. I don't even want to be in America. Why couldn't I live somewhere else, like overseas? I had to retract that because I am so happy that I am the young lady that I am and I grew up where I grew up because I don't think that with the type of person that I am, I would have been able to handle or even to go through the things that these women... Um, this book is just really, really, really going to be a lesson well learned for me. And I think for those that are in the class, because there are men that are in the class, and they're, they're going to know more about this. Not saying that they don't already know about it, but it's going to be something that's going to be able to hopefully change perspectives of those who are around or those who are in the class reading this book because I feel like it's already going to change my perspective on how I dictate the type of things that I do, say, look like, you know, just me as a person. I think it's going to change a little bit because, just because, I just feel like it might do that. And 
I'm going to take you guys along with the ride with me. You know, I'm going to let you guys ride out with me as I get, begin to read and learn more information from the book. I'm going to share this all with you because I feel like a lot of women watch my videos. And why not talk about something real? Because I do do other things besides getting pretty all day. And, you know, just share some knowledge with you all. I'm always about knowledge and helping and informing and stuff like that so i'm gonna share this book with you all and i feel like it'll be a good thing and if you want to you can go along with me i'll try to keep you all updated so like it is february the 4th i have to read chapters one and two by monday which is february the 7th february the 7th and i'll try to get another video updated for you all about what i've read and read so thus far after i read that so Thank you for watching. I love you all. Have a wonderful and blessed day.